Hello everyone, my name is David Richard from Weekly Tools. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a common yet frustrating issue on our hands a car that just won't start. But fear not, because in this video, we're going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of troubleshooting and fixing this problem. Whether you're a seasoned gearhead or a complete novice, we've got you covered. Let's dive in. A car that won't start can be a frustrating and inconvenient experience, especially if it happens at an inopportune time. There are a number of reasons why a car might not start, and the troubleshooting process can be daunting. However, with a little patience and know-how, you can often diagnose and fix the problem yours. Symptoms of a car that won't start Before you can start troubleshooting, it's important to identify the specific symptoms of your car's problem. This will help you narrow down the possible causes and determine the best course of action. No sound when you turn the key, this could be a sign of a dead battery, a loose connection, or a problem with the starter solenoid. Clicking sound when you turn the key, this is often indicative of a weak battery or a problem with the starter motor. Engine cranks but doesn't start, this suggests a problem with the fuel system, ignition system, or engine compression. Troubleshooting Steps Once you've identified the symptoms of your car's problem, you can begin the troubleshooting process. Here are some general steps to follow. Check the battery. Ensure the battery terminals are clean and free of corrosion. Use a voltmeter to check the battery voltage. A reading of 12.6 volts or higher is considered good. If the battery is low, you can try jump-starting the car or charging. The battery. Check the fuses and relays. Fuses and relays protect electrical circuits from damage. If a fuse or relay blows, it can prevent a specific component from working, such as the starter or fuel pump. Check the fuse box and relay box for any blown fuses or tripped relays. Check the starter. The starter is an electric motor that engages the engine flywheel when you turn the key. If the starter is not working, the engine will not crank. You can test the starter by tapping on it with a hammer while someone tries to start the car. If the starter engages when you tap on it, it's likely faulty and needs to be replaced. Check the fuel system. If the engine cranks but doesn't start, there could be a problem with the fuel system. Check for any leaks or loose connections. Try spraying starting fluid into the air intake manifold and see if the engine starts briefly. If it does, this indicates a fuel delivery problem. Check the ignition system. The ignition system consists of spark plugs, wires, distributor rotor and cap, and ignition coil. If there is a problem with any of these components, the engine will not spark and will not start. Check the spark plugs for wear or damage. Replace the spark plugs if they are worn or damaged. Replace the spark plug wires if they are damaged and check the ignition coil for resistance or replace the ignition coil if it is faulty. Check the engine compression. Engine compression is the pressure that is created when the pistons are compressed by the engine's combustion process. If an engine has low compression, it will not start or will run poorly. You can check engine compression using a compression tester. If you have checked all of the above and your car still won't start, it's best to consult with a qualified mechanic. There could be a more complex problem that requires professional diagnosis and repair. To help prevent your car from not starting, there are a few things you can do. Regularly maintain your car. Keep your battery in good condition. Park in a garage or shaded area. Drive your car regularly. We've successfully diagnosed and fixed our non-starting car. Remember, troubleshooting car issues can be a process of elimination, so take your time and follow the steps we've outlined. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more automotive content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and until next time, drive safe and stay curious.